Good morning, good morning. Favorite Ramblin' Redhead here. How you doing today? Thanks for coming back and joining us. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And um, just thank you in general for the support. We're uh, trucking right along this house. We're doing great. We're doing awesome. We're having a great time. And we're working on the floor. So we are through here. We've made through. We still got obviously doing there, but we are um, just kind of in here working through how we're going to get this all tied together as it comes through here. So this flooring interlocks on both sides. So it slides under on that side, drops down on this side. So it has to be assembled going in this direction. So that's what we are uh, working through right now is the spacing so that we can start over there and work our way backwards. Um, I don't know what we're going to get done this week. I know we're going to get this floor done. We're kind of in a holding pattern, waiting to uh, purchase some stuff. So that is the uh, plan. I'm going to uh, hop over here and get started. Okay. Like I said at the end of the last video, we do have our water run up to the house. It's not run into the house. We're not going to do that until the septic is in, so we can drain the sink when we fill it up. But um, other thing I need to do this week is I need to get the outlets on the front side of the house here so I can get those wired in and I need to get the outlets probably, I don't know if I'll do drakes, probably not, I'll probably wait on those, but uh, these front ones done so that my wife can do the laundry over here without having to run an extension cord from inside to outside. So yeah, that's the plan this week. Also, I'm really, really enjoying these cool crisp mornings. It's really quiet and the air's dense and it's just nice out here looking out from my porch. I can't wait for spring and summer to get here and this to all be green and filled out again. It's going to be great. All right, so we grinded through that this morning and got a whole floor in here. We ended up using some of our uh, more beat up pieces here. This will be under the bed, so no one will ever see that, thankfully. And it's really the only way this bed, a bed will fit in this room, so I don't think anyone will ever see it again. Um, but we uh, got that done. And we are starting to work on the little filler pieces that I'm adding in there to uh, before I foam it to seal that up. And then we're going to get in here, trim these back so that I can get the um, rafter braces on. And those are the big projects that we're working on right now. Um, we do have to pick up some more flooring to do the utility room and the bathroom. So. Uh, yeah, we did burn through exactly what we had did the living room kitchen and bedroom So I will have to get some more for that um, We're probably going to get this all the plywood cut for Drake's loft this week uh, But it won't be getting installed until the um, Roof insulation is done because I gotta be able to get up there to put the roof insulation in so But we'll get it all cut and laid up there We'll get that floor screwed down so that once it is done we can just pop the panels in place that'll be done up there and we can put the carpet in up there because right now this big old heavy box is just taking up a ton of space so I got the saw stop set up on the chop saw out there so Deacon's just flying through that I already flew through what we did was we cut up all of our scraps left from doing the roof and the gables and whatnot um, into our strips I cut them real quick on the table saw and then now he's going to cut them on the chop saw so um, all my Roby tools in case you're curious, you're doing a great job. I haven't had a problem out of a single one of them, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to go out there and help him get this wrapped up and get ready for this next step. Get ready for lunch. Alrighty, guys, it's a chilly one today. And we've been up here working, me and Deacon. Got all the rest of the brackets in. So the whole roof is tied down. I got quite a few extra of those to return, so that's nifty. You can see the uh, light coming through the top there. Well, it didn't quite meet up nicely. We come down here, Deacon got them all spray foamed yesterday. There's no more air leaks up there. These little slots that just slide in there. Doot, 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 doot. And then it gets wrapped, it gets a circle of foam around it basically that seals the whole thing up. Uh, we got a couple of places in the flat walls that have to be foamed still. The windows and doors have to be foamed still, and a couple places have to tape. But uh, we also got up here in Drake's Loft, and this got all nailed down. Up here in Drake's Loft, we got it all nailed down today. Oh. And we started working on the ceiling. Or just kind of figuring out, it's just kind of, there's a nail in here. So what will happen is we had 
there was another one of these beams it was here it came out because there wasn't quite it was here i'm sorry uh wasn't quite enough head space here to get up the ladder so this material hopefully we'll have enough for this cedar to run all the way through the house um, but it'll come up from the wall down there all the way up through here through across the top and back down just like the bottom which is like that which will come flat across this part of the roof right here and it'll have a nice 90 degree corner here where they will come up all the way across there um I might put an access panel in there i was thinking about i don't know why i would need to get up here into that space um but if we ended up doing for some reason a ducted heat and ac system the duct for drake's room would pop through right here so a little thought there but yeah the uh getting those sealed up all those gaps definitely made a huge difference that side is actually already closed up from the outside with aluminum foil tape this side was not but drink should have a pretty good view of the tv from up here the uh, wood burning stove will be right there so i reckon he should be nice and warm and, uh, we're in pretty good shape for i don't know what deacon's laughing at but we're in pretty good shape for the week uh, like I said, next week we plan to get this roof insulated, and then we can get this room kind of finished up, and that'll be nice because that carpet is heavy and it can come up here and we get this carpet down. So I'm going to go buy me some more propane because the Walmart 24-hour propane tanks are terrible, and from the dispenser at the Walmart, and they're like half full. So I'm going to get my tanks filled, and yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Good morning, everybody. Um, I know I don't say it like my husband, but I am taking over for a few. Um, we are getting our garden started. Um, well, we're just starting the seeds. We did this like two weeks ago, and there was an accident, and all of my trays got blown away. Well, they got blown over. Um, so we lost everything. So we're going to redo it. And my husband told me to film. Um, we are getting started. Today is the 29th of January. So it's really early but i have some frost hardy seeds that we're going to get started and i also have warming pads um we're going to see how this goes because we have some days where the low is going to be nine degrees but we're using the warming pads we're putting them in a greenhouse that i'm going to show you here guys here in a little bit um inside our house so i think we're going to do okay but right now i have my box of fun stuff here so we're gonna go through this um, make sure all of my stuff works so this year we're using the natural and organic seed starting mix and I'm gonna show you how to use everything these are more warming pads that I bought my seeds are in this envelope that's a glove these are my seed trays these we've been using for a while um, here's more warming mats I wasn't real sure what still worked so we ordered more my husband told me we only had two. Definitely looks like I have three here. Um, and then all of my LED lights we're going to hook up. My growing lights are in here. We have a fan for circulation if needed. And then we also have our seed brick. Seed block maker that I will also show you guys how to use. Um, the rest of this is all tubing for my irrigation system. Um, this is Drake's new... We have hummingbirds here, so we wanted to make sure he has a little tree and a swing, so we wanted to put a hummingbird um, feeder there as well. But this is all irrigation stuff that we will show you when it's time to go to the garden. We have a plan for our garden this year um, that we're super excited about. Um, and we're going to be moving our chickens to that location here in the next week or two so that they can start going through the the grass and pulling all the stuff up and and just kind of um, fertilizing that soil a little more all right so let's get started going through and making sure all my led lights work okay so i just realized pulling all this stuff out that i may have left some leds in texas which is going to be a problem um so but we're still going to see what leds i have that works so i have my power strip from inside my house um, these actually just screw into each other and then this one screws into the next one so that we can connect the strips together 
Um, let's see. So it looks like one strip works, two strips work. So, I gotta figure out how to make this work for two trays. We will see. Alright. So now we're going to unplug these and start seeing if, but I gotta go get some scissors um, to get the zip ties off to see if my warming pads um, work. Okay. So, while we are waiting for the warming, the first warming pad to warm up, I want to see if it can work. This one hasn't been used before, so I want to double check it um, before I start securing everything to the greenhouse. I um, wanted to share what we're starting. So we're starting some cauliflower. These uh, seeds came from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. We have used them the last couple of years. Um, I really, really like them, um, but I was going to share just what we're getting started. Um, we have a, about 54, 55 different types of seeds that we're starting this year. We're, we're throwing it all in and seeing what sticks, basically. Um, what methods work? Deacon's behind me. He's uh, looking for something to do while we wait for it to warm up. We've got to get laundry going. Um, we've got to spray some foam inside, but it really needs to be warm, um, warmer for the foam not to, to have plenty of time to set. Um, but back to what I was doing. So we have cauliflower. We have a top, a rocky top lettuce. Um, we have cabbage. We have lots of different types of bell peppers. So we have, these are poblano peppers. Um, it's not a bell, but we have a, a California wonder pepper. We have a few different types of jalapenos. We have a few different types of onions. We have this sweet chocolate bell pepper that I'm super excited to um, get growing. Celery, lots of peppers. Um, this one's an Anaheim pepper. We have some um, not a pino peppers, which is going to give a mild taste. We also have a tame jalapeno um, because Drake likes how the taste of jalapenos, but he does not like the spice of jalapenos. We have another red onion. We have a bullnose bell pepper, which this one is one of the more common ones that you see in the store, as well as some green onions. So these are um, my un my bell peppers and all of my peppers can go on a warming pad. The other ones, like the cauliflower, the lettuce, um, are all frost hardy, so they can take a little bit of a freeze or dropping temperatures. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use the mats for those yet. Um, probably go ahead and set them up um, for like the days that it's going to be 9 degrees or 10 degrees um, in the future um, and turn the warming pads on for that. Um, but they don't need to stay on like I'm going to leave on the ones for the peppers. Um, okay, so I'm still waiting for this to get warmed up. Um, and we're going to see if they work. Alright guys, so I thought I'd share with you because it's just here to us here today. My husband's at work till 6 o'clock tonight. Um, and y'all normally, a lot of the times, only see what goes on in the house. But of course, I do a lot behind the scenes, I guess. So we've got laundry going on right here. Um, this is our, he's uh, told y'all guys about this before, but I've got laundry going on. We're using the hose um, and then it kind of just drains out. Um, but also have all of my mats being tested right now. Um, they're starting to warm up. So I think they're going to be okay. Um, starting to warm up and then we're going to get seeds started. I've also got these two over here because we are going to have a wood burning fireplace inside. You found mushrooms. Found mushrooms. Hi guys. Hi. Um, My name's Jeff. Name is not Jeff. Okay, now I got to turn around. <laughs> um, so they are cutting down and cleaning out this old tree. So it had already fallen. Um, it was pretty big back here. Um, so Deacon's been working on getting this cleaned out the last couple of days because because of all this debris down here, this is where I'm going to be fine. I got my boots on. This is where we're going to start our compost pile. I mean, there's no path around here, so they can't really go tromping through the woods. Um, so we're going to start a compost pile right here. It's out of the way. Um, I go and, snowing a lot. 
You go exploring down the other path, not this way. Right, go that way and just go every Stop, Drake. Um, so we're going to get all of the big pieces cleaned up. They are cutting it into this size and the cart um, so that they can bring it over here. That is extra wood that was left over. Um, this is all we cleaned up a thorn tree. And this is all stuff that's got to be burned. But we are... Watch the cat. Um, this has all got to be burned and stuff. We've got these pieces as well. But they're putting it back here. So when we first got here, we made this makeshift thing for all of our tools to go underneath. But now that we have the little garage thing, all of the wood for the stove is going under here. So we're going to get this all neatly stacked um, and everything. But... They are getting that space stocked up so that in a couple of weeks, when we put the wood burning stove in, um, it could actually be used if needed. Oh, one more thing that we got working on. It's a slow process because I only have so many clamps, but we bought these cedar pieces to go on the ceiling. And so now it is my job to go through all of the ones that have splits in them um, and wood glue them and clamp them to get them ready to go on the ceiling. Um, some of them are just going to get wood filler like this right here. We're going to put some wood filler in it because there's a knot as well as this piece right here. Um, but that's what I've got working on on this side of the porch. So we've got a lot of things going on. Um, it is warming up finally for Deacon to get in there and do the spray foam. I think we're well into the 50s, close to the 60s by now. Um, so we're going to get that done as well, and I will show you guys that process. Okay, so Houston and Deacon have created these little, they call them wedges. It's board, and it goes in those spaces up there, and it blocks the... Um, between the, where the roof starts and the walls start. And then Deacon sprays in the spray foam. You might have to, is there more in there? But he sprays in the spray foam to seal up between the two and that will expand and fill in any air gaps up there. Um, and we're doing that in every bay. This was the last of it. Um, he's done all that side as well. We were trying to see if, cause we have this gap right here, um, just because these boards are not perfect. We were trying to see if we could use the spray foam down there. It doesn't look like we can. So we'll, I guess, knock that off. And we have the flashing tape that we used on the camper that we will seal these cracks with. Right? That's what that said? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that. We've got a couple other spots. He's also going to use the spray foam around the windows. Mm -hmm. So like these gaps right here, up here. We'll all get spray foam, right? Yeah. Just the, the top and the two sides, not the bottom. Yeah, so there's no space there. And then he's also going to spray around the door if we have enough cans. Um, I think we're working. He's got that can and one other can left. Um, so that's what he's doing in the house today. Okay, so I have my soil. And water mixture we just start putting it in there until it clumps up pretty good and it's pretty wet um, we're gonna use these seed block makers so last time um, I used my bigger one first but we're gonna use these minis um, and see if I can keep it in one tray since I don't have my LEDs I'm hoping that that's why the stuffed animals stay inside Drake the dogs trying to get Drake's stuffed animal um, Gonna keep it in one tray since I only have two rows of LEDs. Um, warming mats work fine, it seems. 
Um, I'm just not a very patient person, I think. Um, also working on laundry, if you hear it in the background. So we're going to start putting the soil in here. And we're going to get it really good and tight and compacted in there. Everything we use for our soil the seed starters and stuff, we've gotten off of Amazon except the um, soil mix that we got at Home Depot. Um, the reason why I'm choosing the little ones first is because I need it on just one row. I haven't set up the LEDs or the warming pad yet, um, but we'll get that going here soon. Um, so you want to make sure, like, I'm going to add more because my fingers have pushed this in, which means there's not enough in there. Deacon is working on sealing windows and doors. Hello. Hello. Drake. Um, we did a face mask yesterday. Me and the boys just kind of hanging out and stuff. And um, we put some little eye things on Drake. Well, woke up this morning and we're, his eyes are really swollen. So I had to run out and get him some Benadryl. Um, and hoping, and it's kind of made him drowsy. So he's kind of laying down inside. Supposed to be watching a movie. I walked in there earlier. He was asleep. Come out to see what we were doing. He has a case of FOMO. We are missing out. Alright, so that's all stuffed in. So I'm turning you guys around. So now you just take this, apply pressure on this piece right here, and it lifts out. So then you end up with that, and you're just putting seeds in the tiny little spots at the top. So now I'm going to make a few more. All right, I've made all of my soil squares, or my seed squares, um, and now I'm just opening these, um, writing what they are on my piece of paper so that I know what is what. And then pouring some seeds in my hand. And then putting the seeds in the little dents in my seed square. Alright, so I gotta be quick, but I'm just gonna kind of show you what I'm gonna do. I've got, only got two zip ties. I plugged this in. Um, this is a little greenhouse stand from Tractor Supply. It was 35 bucks. Um, I'm going to put these two LEDs up here. It's also gonna get sunlight from outside during the day. Um, but we're going to put the tray in here. This is just an empty tray. Um, and then put the warming pad underneath it. My plug is right there. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. Okay, here we go. So my lights are up. I've got to get more zip ties. This is not going to work for very long. Um, but it's still getting outside light. Um, and the heat pad is on. Now, of course, it's 70 degrees out right now, so this heat pad's not really necessary, but we're gonna see if it's able to build heat inside. So we're gonna zip this up. I need to find, I have a little temperature sensor somewhere in here, uh, but we're gonna put it in there and see if we're maintaining a good heat for, so that everything can grow. And um, since you have to wet the soil so much to make the blocks, we will not be in here to um, brain to water for at least two days. So let's find my sensor and then we're good. That's about it. That's what I planned. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye.